Hello and good day. Still, our topic for today is joint arrangements. And this is the second part of the discussion in joint arrangements. Recall that there are considerations in accounting for joint operations and they are, first, no separate records are maintained for the joint operation. And second, separate records are maintained for the joint operation. Na discuss ko na yung first consideration last time. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the second consideration. Separate records are maintained for the joint operation. These are the things that you need to know when separate records are maintained. When separate records are maintained, the joint operation transactions are recorded in those separate books in the regular manner. In other words, meron ng tinatawag na joint operations books or JO's books. The joint operators record only their own transactions in their respective books. So if the transaction is a transaction of one joint operator, then the other joint operators will not record the transaction. Accordingly, personal accounts and JO cash or similar accounts are not used. Let's answer a problem to apply these concepts. Let us now apply the concepts by answering a problem. Small, medium, and large formed a joint operation. The following were the joint operation transactions. A. a small transferred cash of 100,000 pesos to large, the appointed manager representing a small's contribution. B. medium contributed inventories worth 120,000 pesos. C. Large contributed cash of 80,000 pesos. D. Large purchased inventories worth 160,000 pesos and paid freight of 20,000 pesos using the cash contributions. E. Large made cash sales of 900,000 pesos and F. Large paid expenses of 240,000 pesos from the joint operations cash. All inventories were sold except one-third from largest purchases. Large was charged for the cost of the unsold inventory. The joint operators agreed on the following. Large is entitled to a management fee of 6,000 pesos and a bonus of 15% of profit after management fee and bonus. Any remaining profit or loss is divided equally. Separate records are maintained. Requirements prepare the journal entries for transactions A to F, compute for the profit after management fee and bonus, and determine the cash settlements to the joint operators. First, let's answer requirement letter A, prepare the journal entries for transactions A to F. Unahin natin yung transaction letter A, small transferred cash of 100,000 pesos to large, the appointed manager representing a small's contribution. This means that there is a transfer of cash from small to the joint operation. So only small and the joint operation will record the transaction. Sa books ni small, i-debit natin ang joint operation, 100,000 pesos, at i-credit natin ang cash, 100,000 pesos, since transfer yung cash from small to the joint operation. 
Sa books naman ng joint operation, itidebit natin yung cash, 100,000 pesos, since tataas yung cash because of the transfer. At ikikredit natin ang small capital, 100,000 pesos. Observe that the transaction is recorded in a regular manner. Next, transaction letter B, medium contributed inventories worth 120,000 pesos. This transaction is between medium and the joint operation only. Therefore, only medium and the joint operation will record the transaction. Sa books ni medium, idebit natin ang joint operation, 120,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang inventory, 120,000 pesos. Nag-decrease ang inventory since transfer siya from medium to the joint operation. Sa books naman ng joint operation, itidebit natin ang inventory, 120,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang medium capital, 120,000 pesos. Of course, nag-increase ang inventory kasi transfer siya sa joint operation. That's why itidebit natin ang inventory. Next, transaction letter C, large contributed cash of 80,000 pesos. Ang entry dito ay pareho sa entry ng transaction letter A, except that this transaction is between large and the joint operation. Since this transaction is between large and the joint operation, only large and the joint operation will record the transaction. Sa books ni large, ididebit natin ang joint operation, 80,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang cash, 80,000 pesos. Sa books naman ng joint operation, Ididebit natin ang cash, 80,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang large capital, 80,000 pesos. Next, transaction letter D, large purchased inventories worth 160,000 pesos and paid freight of 20,000 pesos using the cash contributions. It says here, using the cash contributions. So only the joint operation will record the transaction. Itidebit natin ang purchases, 180,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang cash, 180,000 pesos. Next, transaction letter E, large made cash sales of 900,000 pesos. There is an increase in cash and there is an increase in sales. Therefore, i-debit natin sa books ng joint operation ang cash, 900,000 pesos, at i-credit natin ang sales, 900,000 pesos. Next, transaction letter F, large paid expenses of 240,000 pesos from the joint operations cash. There's an increase in expenses and there is a decrease in cash. Therefore, ididebit natin ang expenses, 240,000 pesos, at ikikredit natin ang cash, 240,000 pesos. If in case, uh, yung pinambayad sa expenses ay cash ni large, ang ikikredit natin ay large capital 240,000 pesos. At ang journal entry sa books ni large ay debit joint operation 
240,000 pesos, credit cash 240,000 pesos. Let's now answer requirement letter B, compute for the profit after management fee and bonus. I-compute muna natin yung profit before management fee and bonus. Ang sales ay 900,000 pesos. Refer to transaction letter E. Then deduct the cost of goods sold or COGS. Ang beginning inventory ay 120,000 pesos. Refer to transaction letter B. Then add purchases and freight in 180,000 pesos. 120,000 pesos plus 180,000 pesos that is equal to 300,000 pesos. And that is the total goods available for sale or otherwise known as COGAS. Cost of goods available for sale. After that, deduct the ending inventory to compute for the cost of goods sold. Nakalagay sa problem na all inventories were sold except one-third from largest purchases. So, i-add lang natin yung 160,000 pesos na purchases at 20,000 pesos na freight in, saka natin i-multiply sa one-third. 160,000 pesos plus 20,000 pesos times one-third, that is equal to 60,000 pesos and that is the ending inventory. 300,000 pesos minus 60,000 pesos, that is equal to cost of goods sold of 240,000 pesos. 900,000 pesos minus 240,000 pesos, that is equal to gross profit of 660,000 pesos. Finally, let's deduct expenses of 240,000 pesos. Refer to transaction letter F. 660,000 pesos minus 240,000 pesos that is equal to profit before management fee and bonus of 420,000 pesos. Ang profit before management fee and bonus ay 420,000 pesos. It says in the problem that large is entitled to a management fee of 6,000 pesos. Sinabi sa problem na entitled si large sa management fee na 6,000 pesos. So, 420,000 pesos na profit before management fee and bonus minus yung management fee ni large na 6,000 pesos that is equal to 414,000 pesos profit after management fee but before bonus. It is also stated in the problem that large is entitled to a bonus of 15% of profit after management fee and bonus. So, i-compute natin yung bonus na maibibigay kay large. Gagamitin natin yung formula na B is equal to P minus P over 1 plus BR. Yung P dito ay yung profit after management fee but before bonus. At yung BR naman ay bonus rate. Ang bonus rate ay 15% or 0.15. So B is equal to 414,000 pesos minus 414,000 pesos divided by 1.15. 
and that is equal to a bonus of 54,000 pesos. At this point, we can now compute for the profit after management fee and bonus. Ang profit before management fee and bonus ay 420,000 pesos. Ang management fee ni Large ay 6,000 pesos. At ang bonus ni Large ay 54,000 pesos. 420,000 pesos minus 6,000 pesos minus 54,000 pesos that is equal to profit after management fee and bonus of 360,000 pesos. Next, let's answer requirement letter C. Determine the cash settlements to the joint operators. I-compute muna natin yung share ng joint operators sa profit. Ang profit before management fee and bonus ay... 420,000 pesos. Ang management fee ni Large ay 6,000 pesos. At ang bonus niya ay 54,000 pesos. So, ang remaining profit ay 360,000 pesos. 420,000 pesos minus 6,000 pesos minus 54,000 pesos that is equal to remaining profit of 360,000 pesos. Nakalagay sa problem na any remaining profit or loss is divided equally. Meaning to say, ang share sa profit or loss ng joint operators ay equal. So ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin sa 3 yung 360,000 pesos. 360,000 pesos Divided by 3, that is equal to 120,000 pesos. At this point, we can now compute for the share of the joint operators in the profit. Ang share ni small sa profit ay 120,000 pesos. Ang share naman sa profit ni medium ay 120,000 pesos. At ang share ni large sa profit ay 180,000 pesos. Para makompute yung cash settlements to the joint operators, gagamitin natin yung joint operation account. Kapag gagamitin natin yung joint operation account, ire-reflect lang natin yung contributions ng joint operators at ang share nila sa profit or loss. Ang contribution ni small ay 100,000 pesos. That is a cash contribution. Ang share niya sa profit ay 120,000 pesos. Therefore, small will receive 220,000 pesos. Ang contribution naman ni medium ay 120,000 pesos. Medium contributed inventories worth 120,000 pesos. Ang share niya sa profit ay 120,000 pesos. Therefore, medium will receive 240,000 pesos. Ang contribution naman ni Large ay 80,000 pesos. That is a cash contribution. At ang share niya sa profit ay 180,000 pesos. Large was charged for the cost of the unsold inventory. So kailangan pa nating i-deduct yung unsold inventory na 60,000 pesos. 80,000 pesos plus 180,000 pesos minus 60,000 pesos that is equal to 200,000 pesos. Therefore, large will receive 200,000 pesos. After the joint operation, let's now proceed to the joint venture. 
If the arrangement is a joint venture, the entity recognizes its interest as an investment and account for it using the equity method on their past 28 investments in associates and joint ventures. Under the equity method, the investment is initially recognized at cost and subsequently adjusted for the investor's share in the investee's changes in the equity, such as profit or loss, other comprehensive income, dividends, and results of discontinued operations. The equity method is a simple method, basta alam nyo lang kung ano yung nakakapag-increase at nakakapag-decrease dun sa carrying amount ng investment in joint venture. If there is profit or loss, the share in the profit will increase the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture. But the share in the loss will decrease the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture. If there are dividends, the dividends will decrease the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture. If there is other comprehensive income, such as revaluation of property, plant, and equipment, foreign exchange translation differences, etc., the share in the gain will increase the carrying amount of the investment, but the share in loss will decrease the carrying amount of the investment. If there are discontinued operations, the share in the gain will increase the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture, but the share in the loss will decrease the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture. Let us now apply the concepts by answering a problem. Entity X obtains joint control over a joint arrangement for an investment of 220,000 pesos. The investment gives Entity X 40% interest on the net assets of the arrangement. The joint arrangement earns profit of 800,000 pesos and distributes earnings of 500,000 pesos to the owners. Requirement, compute for the carrying amount of the investment at year end. This is a joint venture since the entity X I may write the on sa net assets ng joint arrangement. Ang initial investment ay 220,000 pesos. Ang share in profit ay nakakapag-increase ng carrying amount ng investment in joint venture. That's why i-debit natin yung 320,000 pesos. 800,000 pesos na profit times 40% interest that is equal to 320,000 pesos. Ang dividends naman nakakapag-decrease yan ng carrying amount ng investment in joint venture. That's why i-credit natin yung 200,000 pesos. 500,000 pesos times 40% interest that is equal to 200,000 pesos. 220,000 pesos plus 320,000 pesos minus 200,000 pesos that is equal to 340,000 pesos. And that is the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture at year end.